Girls of Reddit, what was the worst? Creepy guy you have met. When I worked as a cashier at a fast food restaurant, this one older guy, early 40s, would always come in and refuse to be served by anyone but me. He'd ask co-workers if I was working, or ask them to get me off lunch or break to serve him, or sometimes he'd just wait until I came back out to order. He'd never directly hit on me, but would ask a bunch of really weird questions about my life. Sometimes, co-workers would pretend to shadow me by standing near my cash and helping out just because they knew how uncomfortable he made me feel. Management didn't appear to appreciate how uncomfortable it made me feel, so one tried to get his order ASAP to minimize the amount of time he spent at my cash. One day, while I'm punching in his order, he asks if he could take me to prom it was his dream to accompany me or something equally creepy. Now, I've always looked younger than my age, but I was about 20 at the time. There was a long pause and I just said I had graduated high school years ago. He never bothered me again, in fact, I don't think I ever saw him again. Afterwards, it dawned on me that he thought I was an underage teenage girl and suddenly lost interest when he realized I was an adult. I can't think of that without feeling sick to my stomach, to be honest. When I worked at an ice cream store during college, there was this guy who'd come in occasionally wearing sunglasses. He didn't take them off inside, like he thought he was being cool and mysterious. If there were girls working behind the counter he would walk up and say sup, females. Don't remember what else he said, but I think I recall him talking quietly about his experience with women, almost talking to himself but definitely directed at whoever was scooping ice cream. If our boss was there, he would engage the guy in conversation if possible, to spare everyone else the creepiness. My boss was the store owner, and I think this guy weirded him out too. He'd try to serve him quickly and move him along so he could take his creepy self elsewhere. All the 40 to 50 something grown ass men who tried hitting on me when I was a minor trying to touch me and saying really inappropriate things to me when I'm visibly uncomfortable. I didn't realize it then, but a few months ago thinking back on it during a conversation with a friend it clicked that they were probably pedophiles. Before that I had always thought you only hear of pedophiles on the news but rarely. Meet them in real life. During this conversation I realized that I have known several ones when younger. Now I'm scared that they actually are everywhere, and the only reason I can't spot them and more, is because LVE grown up. The scariest thing is no adult would ever step up to come in between us. I think it was a group effect, like it always happened so publicly, that they would think it's impossible that guy is really doing that right here right now in front of all these people. So I must be misinterpreting his intentions. And then because everyone was thinking the same thing and no one would react it would only reinforce this thought so everyone ended up not doing anything. Hard to pick a worst, but one comes to mind. My freshman year of college, a guy asked me out and I turned him down because I'd just gotten out of a relationship and, quite frankly, I wasn't interested. But I was trying to let him down easy, so I told him that because I had just broken up with my ex, I wasn't interested in dating at the moment. That afternoon, one of the Raz in my dorm not my eye, by the way, one from a different floor came up and told me this guy had come to our dorm, asked to speak with her, and begged her to help him convince me that I should date him and that he could fix me. She was like, girl, you better watch out for him. We'll all be on the lookout for you too. He asked me out again like a day later, and I was much more firm and told him in no uncertain terms that I would not be dating him. After that he was a major asshole to me, super petty and passive aggressive. We had a class together and I couldn't avoid him. So I just started calling him out in front of the others. Why are you saying that? That's inappropriate. Why do you think that's appropriate to say? He stopped eventually. But it took a while. There was this geeky guy in my senior year that obviously had the hots for me. I'm not even that attractive, but I'm also a geek and with that plus being a woman I think that was enough to make the dude just his pants when I was around. He would offer me lemon drops and follow me around in lunchtime, and we shared a couple classes so I was often stuck with him. I have anxiety and fear of confrontation, so I just acted nice when I was clearly uncomfortable. That's on me. I simply smiled and thanked him as he kissed my ass when it came to my artwork. He even compared me to an ex of his once. The dude was massive. I've always been pretty chubby myself, 
but he was like in the 300 plus range I think. Always wore this gross red-black hoodie combo thing, and his hair was extremely greasy. Neck beard and all. Also pretty dumb, he called himself a super senior, which basically meant he had been held back before. Only had to deal with him for not even the whole semester, because he needed to get his GED. He asked for my contact info and I refused. A few weeks later my mom tells me that I got a forwarded email from my 7th period teacher. The dude emailed my teacher trying to get my personal information out of her. Even though we only talked for a few weeks he put me up on this pedestal and said the teacher helping him would help him sleep at night. I'm going back to my university soon this month. I doubt he'll be able to find me there with his GED in hand. I worked in a prison for five years with male psychiatric inmates. One would watch everything I did, then somehow or another, got my license plate number, and tracked down where I lived. In the course of conversation one day, he asked me why my car was registered in my, now ex, fiancé's name. Then proceeded to tell me how nice the flower bed out front looked, and that my dog was really big and intimidating, mentioning that he bet he enjoyed steak. One disengaged and reported it to the administration. He got transferred elsewhere due to safety concerns for me. He still writes me letters describing, in vivid detail, what he wants me to wear for him when he gets out and tracks me. Down. I haven't worked there in six years, old friends keep me posted about his whereabouts, upcoming parole hearings, and when they get a new letter for me. I was going home, after having been out some night, and a guy came up to me starting to talk to me, and I just kept walking and so did he. I told him I have a boyfriend etc, but he didn't seem to care. Eventually we got to the door to my building and I told him he can't come in here. And he just kept repeating the same things he did before about no please LVE never met anyone like you, as if I would somehow change my mind. I didn't want to just stay there so I went inside and he followed. Not like I could really prevent him from doing so either. I got into the elevator, doing my best to ignore him and he followed me. Then when inside he wouldn't let me out from it. After several minutes of telling him I had to go home, trying to physically move him. I was able to squeeze past him, and then I kept walking. I got to my door, but I'm not risking having him come inside. I called my boyfriend and had him yell at him to leave me alone, which he didn't seem to really care about as he kept whispering over it to me. I unlocked the door, while he was a bit distracted by the phone and basically just jumped inside and locked the door immediately. This guy however kept ringing the bell and trying to open the door for a few minutes. I was about to call the police, but then it stopped. Still has me a bit anxious tbh. A few months back this guy added me on Facebook through mutual friends and we started talking. He seemed pretty cool and normal at first honestly, and he gave me a write him from work one single day. After a while, he started to say weird stuff like how he really hates the servers at his job Hooters and would say sometimes he feels like doing bad things to them. He even sent me a picture of him holding a kitchen knife and captioning it about how he'd love to use it on the servers. I started to just ghost him after that. My absolute final straw was when he found out I was sick, remembered exactly where I lived in this massive apartment complex, and showed up completely out of the blue to take care of me and to give me a get well soon card and some crackers. Would have been a sweet gesture if he wasn't a total psycho. Pretty much every guy I've met, with the exception of my boyfriend, have been creepy or just weird towards me. The worst creepy guy though was one of my old friends, who we'll call L. L was pretty chill and I liked him at first. We were okay friends. Then he said he had a thing for me, I just kinda said okay and moved on. But he got bad fast. He wanted to do a 20 questions type game, I thought it'd be innocent icebreaker questions, but no. It slowly turned creepy and sexual. I don't wanna get into details because even thinking about the shit he said makes me uncomfy. We were ding so it wasn't the worst possible thing, but it still made me uncomfortable to no end. Another less creepy, but still kinda egg guy is someone who used to constantly poke and prod me and grab me and just wouldn't stop no matter what. My creepy PE teacher, who constantly looked at my cleavage and straight up used the Spider-Man. Hey on me. He also opened the door to the girl's changing room, which he said was just to yell in, 
but I really only think it was because one of the girls screamed very very loud that he didn't come in. Also he was my math teacher and would constantly stand over me, breathing on my neck and pushing against my back, he would even move my hair and play with it commenting on how long it was. He would also try to get me to stay back for extra help a lot even saying that today if you stay back it'll be completely be devoted to you because no one else will be around via no thanks. And lastly I wore a one piece to gym and the back was opened I constantly felt him staring at me, but I thought maybe it was just me. Until my two close guy friends started standing behind me, almost guarding me. Then one of them loudly says, isn't it funny how you're underage? Everyone looked over and the perv gym teacher, he went beat red. The sad fact is I have so many other stories this guy seriously was a creep. I used to work in fast food while I was 16, my first mistake. Anyways, I was on break waiting for my food where I worked. A customer had come up to me and asked if I wanted to hang out. He was obvious mentally slow in some way, but I said sure. He then started asking for my number, and he kept insisting even when I told him no. At this point I was kinda desperately staring into the kitchen hoping for someone to help me out, but everyone was preoccupied with a rush. I was starting to panic and then he grabbed me by the hand. Mumbled that I had to go and I ran in the back room to eat. Didn't actually eat much because I felt so sick. I didn't tell anyone until the end of my shift. I actually almost didn't tell anyone at all, but an old manager had emphasized putting ourselves over the customer. Told my manager, and she immediately felt guilty as to why I waited three hours when she knew I never spend my break in the back. One had put in my two week notice the day beforehand. The next shift I worked, the store manager said how she would have been there to stand up for me and how I shouldn't quit because she would do that for me. I never even told my family this and she was using it as emotional manipulation. Thank fuck I left that place. Had a guy in one of my college classes who was old enough to be my father ask me out. He was married with a daughter, his daughter was five years younger than me. He then would try to convince me to smoke pot, illegal in my state, and tried to convince me to become his sister wife and move in with them. He was very manipulative and controlling. I don't talk to them anymore, obviously. And the whole situation was so fucked up. Anyways, that's the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. He's actually an ex, but we didn't date too long, so that counts, right? When we first started dating I found out he lived in his car, no judgment though, but this is relevant. What made it creepy, was that he told me about two weeks into said relationship, that he parked in visitors parking of my condo complex to keep an eye on me, and protect me from the creeps. Another thing he did which, in hindsight I thought was sweet two months, in was getting me a promise ring, and wanting to go get it fitted and such. Up till I find out it was going to be fitted as an engagement ring instead so when I was given the whole engagement speech he said, I knew I loved you, and we were meant to be the moment we matched on Tinder. Now I can show everyone. OWNU. That's when I knew it was over. I ended it a day later, but that certainly didn't stop him. He still stayed in the visitor's spot, still thought we were in a relationship, or just on a break cause, he'd still keep trying to get into my condo to wake me up for work. Even tried knocking on my window. At some point he got angry, especially when I called the police. Finally got a restraining order and changed my number. It's been about two years now and I've moved since then, but he really did scare me at some point. Met this boy on holiday, who just so happens was in a year below me from school. According to this kid this meant we was dating, I'm a lesbian, he would send me sexual messages over social media, kept on blocking him, but made more accounts. I told him I wasn't interested and that was that for that day. The next day me and my friends were eating in the canteen, when I look out the window, and there that boy staring at me through the window. When he saw me looking I left. Later we had an afternoon assembly my friend noticed he was looking at me and I felt awkward, next day I sit somewhere else in the canteen look out the window, and this kid is looking at me again. I ran to the toilet and shortly afterwards went to my lesson. This kid was there outside the door. Next day, was walking to the library to study, look behind me and this kid is stalking me wasn't sure for how long or how he had found me. Blocked him on social media and don't owe a phone. And I'm pretty sure he didn't know where I live. 
Anyway, this kid was following me to the library, where I was meeting a friend. We ended up spending the day at hers to avoid this kid. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one.